Hi, it's Kasha McDaniel, and I am a home stager decorator, and you're listening to the Creative Home Podcast, where I talk about staging and decorating and all things associated with your home. So take a listen. I love how when people are watching those shows on TV with their decorating or selling houses and they see how pretty the room looks after the transformation. So when they learn that I am a home stager, they get this dreamy look on their face and ask, is it fun to stage houses? I love to decorate. I can just imagine that it'd be a really fun job to do. And If you listen in, I will share with you my answer. You guys, I am so excited to share with you a new program that I'm starting called the Home Staging Society. And what that is, is it's a group coaching for realtors and home sellers so that you have the opportunity to ask your staging questions in a small forum that is a non-judgmental type of thing, okay? Um, My plan is to meet um, every week, basically go live, and we'll have a private group to do that. And it's an opportunity for real estate agents to ask advice on maybe you have a client's home that you're kind of stuck with. I don't know what to do with this room or what colors to use. Or maybe you're a home seller and you're wondering, did I do enough in here? Is there something else I need to do? So this Home Staging Society is a group coaching opportunity for real estate agents and home sellers to ask your staging questions. Okay. It's a monthly membership. And like I said, we're going to meet live. We're going to do it on Zoom where we're going to, I'm going to show to do a, a lesson in the beginning. Like this is how you stage a mantle or these are the colors you, sh- you know, you can use, you know, for the living room, whatever it may be. And then we open it up to questions and answers. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, um, I'm going to live right now, limit it to 10 people. The membership's going to be $79 a month. So if you're interested in something like that, I am going to leave the information in the show notes so that you can sign up and that way we can get started and helping you get your house sold. Hello and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha McDaniel. Thank you again so much for joining me this week. And in this week's episode, I am talking about and answering the question, is home staging a fun job? And I actually get this a lot, especially from women. Uh, I know men are probably not as interested in that part, but the women, when they find out, they're like, oh, that would sound like a fantastic job. I would love to do that. Do you enjoy it? And the answer is kind of complicated because, I mean, think about it. Do you like your job? I mean, maybe you're a school teacher. Maybe you're a firefighter. Maybe you're in the military. Do you love your job? I mean, people probably come up to you too going, don't you just love your job? (laughs) You know, you hear that too, right? I'm probably nodding. Are you guys nodding? I can see, I can understand that. Yes, definitely. So it's kind of fun to answer that question because it's, it's amazing to hear what people perceive as your job because while they only hear the good parts, there may be some bad parts. I'm not saying all bad, but maybe some things that you struggle with in your job, right? Um, so maybe you think, oh, you know, being a fighter pilot would be so fantastic. That'd be so cool. You're in these fighter jets and flying around and doing all this cool stuff. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure there's the pain of like, well, I got to go through training for nine months or a year or whatever, just to get trained up or however long it takes to train a pilot. I don't know. I'm assuming it's at least that long. Um, and then there's regular training just to keep up. And then there's safety things you have to do. And then there's, so there's always little nagging things that get you, um, that in your job that you're just like, well, yeah, I guess I like my job. Yeah. Right. So the same goes for me as a home stager. Well, yes, I do enjoy staging houses and I, I I have fun doing it. Um, it can also have some limitations. Um, but the fun part that I really enjoy the most is the look on the homeowner's faces after the transformation. And they finally see 
wow, we just moved the stuff out of here. Look how big this looks in here now, or look how different that is. Um, I was redoing my office in here, um, and before, we used to have two desks in here for me and my husband. Um, and so, I, unfortunately, I booted him out. <laughs> he has a different spot for his desk. Um, but basically, I added in here, we had an extra love seat that we had in a different home. And then I'm like, you know what? I could totally put that love seat and sitting area in my office against this bank of windows that I have in here. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I could totally be my thinking spot, my writing spot. And as I'm doing these things, you know, I'm changing things around, you know, having fun with it and things like that. Um, so while I enjoy doing that kind of stuff, it's amazing the transformation because then I showed my daughter who's in college right now who didn't see the transformation. She just knows what it looked like before. Didn't see the during or anything. But then afterwards, she's like, oh, that's your office? wow, I want to sit in that office because <laughs> I have these nice throw pillows that go with the, it's like a turquoise and green colors in here with some silver and gray, you know? So she's like, oh, I love your office. And then my, even my littlest one, she comes in my office just to sit on a couch on the love seat and does her homework there while I'm tapping away on the computer. So just to see the people transform, you know, the look on their faces when they see, wow, that looks really cool. But the during part, that can be the messy part. You know what I mean? So, so I enjoy, that's my favorite part of my job is seeing the look on their faces afterwards when they're like, wow, wow. I mean, the best compliment I had actually just recently, um, one of the homeowners, she, uh, she was helping me move some stuff around and we, you know, took things out of the dining room. Um, in the dining room, by the way, she had a baby changing table and other stuff in there, the things that just don't go, but she needed it in there for her growing family. That's why they were moving because the family was growing and they had no space for everybody. Um, so that's why the changing table was in the dining room. Um, along with the dining room table, right? So yeah, so it's just fun to see that part on their look on their faces. And then she said, oh my God, I'm falling in love with my house again. Is that bad? <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not. That's good because we want that same look on the buyer's faces when they come walking in and go, oh, this is nice. This is perfect. This is what we need. Okay, got it. We got to make an offer. You know what I mean? So yeah. So that's my favorite part of the job. I also enjoy moving the pieces around like jigsaw puzzles. It's like a jigsaw puzzle to me because when you walk into a home, um, there are some things that there's just too much stuff in one room versus another room. And if you start moving things around and I personally enjoy jigsaw puzzles, I love puzzles, even like we'll go to the library in our town and they actually will rent out like thousand piece puzzles or 500 piece puzzles. And you, you take it home, you work on it and you bring it back whenever you're done with it. It may be two weeks, it may be a month, however long it takes you. But that's how I feel about my home staging job is that it's like a jigsaw puzzle where certain pieces work better in one room than in another. Okay. Um, I had that, um, in another house where they had these two living spaces in this one home. Um, and one was more formal than the other. And the reason why it was looked more formal, quote unquote, was because one fireplace was um, a man, like a, a marble type of fireplace, more granite, type, like stone type, you like that, you know, versus the other one was just red brick. So the red brick made it look seem less formal. Well, the red brick fireplace had really nice furniture in there and the formal looking room that had nice built-in bookcases and things like that too. Um, it didn't, it had a mishmash of like couches and, and other things in there and toys and things like that. And I was like, mm, okay, we need to figure this out. So what we ended up doing was we left one of the couches in the formal room, took everything else out. Cause there was just a lot of stuff in there, a lot of furniture and things like that. And then I took two of the chairs that she had in the less formal room and put it in the more formal room to make it like a nice seating area so that it looked more equally balanced, if you will. And that's kind of what I like with the jigsaw puzzle as I pick and choose from, it's basically like shopping in your own home. That's what we're doing, literally, without 
paying for anything, okay? We're literally just moving things around to give and show the story of how you can use this house, how the rooms can be used, how you can set it up and show buyers, you know, this is the place for them, okay? So um, one of the parts of my business uh, that as a home stager that I'm not quite um, thrilled about is um, as an entrepreneur, I have to find clients. That part of my job I don't really enjoy is having to find clients. Now you may think, oh, well, they should be coming into you like droves. You would think, but there are some people that, um, yeah, that don't believe that home staging can help them. I know, gasp, what? (laughs) I know. It's funny, I was talking to uh, um, some entrepreneurs as well a couple weeks ago at a networking event, and they were just flabbergasted. They're like, what do you mean people don't use you? Like, what? Why wouldn't they? Don't they know how important staging is? I'm like, you would think, but some people don't, and, and that's okay. They may not have learned about it or have heard about it very much, or they just assume right away that it's expensive and something that they just can't afford to do. Okay. So yeah. So the part of home staging as my job is to find clients. That part of the job is not, you know, something that I enjoy doing because it's, it's being a salesman that I don't like being that salesman. You know what I mean? Um, And like I said, the other part that I'm not convinced is trying to, or that I don't like part of my job is convince them that people should make an effort to stage. I was talking to a real estate agent yesterday, actually, and I told, you know, introduced myself. We had never met before and she was kind of, um, in the, not, not rude or anything like that, but she wasn't convinced that she needed my help in any way. And that's perfectly fine. Not everyone's going to feel that way, but it's because that she's been not jaded, but basically been told by her clients that they don't want to make the effort to get their house ready to sell, which is sad to me. I'm like, they don't want to make the effort. I'm like, but it, it really? Wow. She's like, yeah, a lot of clients, they will say, no, I'm, I just want you to sell my house just as is and just get it sold which makes it really difficult for the real estate agent to do their job. Okay. You're trying to sell a product. I mean, think about it. If you are trying to sell, you know, your car, right? You want it. You're going to give it a wash. You're going to make it look nice. You're going to vacuum the inside. You're probably going to take out all of the, the trash that's in there, the cups, the, you know, the wrappers, whatever, you know, to sell the car because you want to get the most money out of the car, right? Same thing with the house. Um, You want to make an effort to show off the house. So to hear that part that not everyone's convinced that they should make an effort to stage their house is kind of, uh, you know, heartbreaking for me, right? But not everyone is going to think that way, right? Exactly. So yes. So while yes, um, I do enjoy staging houses. I do enjoy moving pieces around of the furniture and does take effort. It does, you know, that is a lot of work. There can be, you know, times where we're just moving things around just to get, you know, and then things I'm moving literally out of the house. I'm like, okay, we need to make room. This does not belong in this room or any other room in this house. We just need to get it out. Right. Um, so yes. So I do enjoy my job. There are some aspects just like you probably in your job that you don't like very much of. Um, and that's where I fall with, you know, that question that I get is home staging fun. (laughs) All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will talk to you later.